What is going on, you Star Craving Lunatics? Guys, we got a lot to go over. We're going to start breaking this down. I'm going to do this as best I can, as quickly as I can. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. There's a lot to unpack that's happening right now, and we're going to dig in. All right, here we go. All right, first up, we burned 1.2 billion lunk, but the price action didn't move. You guys saw there was no real rebound. Now, the question would be why? Well, uh, lunk shows weakness in key markets. Um, uh, the 50 day moving average, you know, just your blah, blah, blah. Here's the important part, right? 1000 lunk, which is your, um, you know, because of the, the number of zeros and stuff like that, that's how major exchanges use Luna Classic. So it's 1000 lunk. Uh, Bin Binance and Bybit declined by 6% in the last 24 hours. This is by the rumor, sell the news kind of information. There's a broader context to it. We'll get to in just a second. Um, and, and let's talk about several different factors. Uh, tax to gas. Where is tax to gas? Remember, that's it's not out yet, and this was a month ago, and now we're trying to figure out what's going to, to happen here. Now, the other thing is, uh, we've got people that are attacking Jesus as Lord too because he's a second validator, um, and look, there's a lot of arguments to be had, and I understand the need for, for these arguments, and I don't like Jesus's. I don't like the fact that he has to validate. However, I don't see any rule. Um, the, the spirit is what we're talking about, and I don't see any spirit here that says you may only have one validator. Uh, most people are saying that the Dynecom is this, this is a spirit of kind of thing, right? Now, here's the thing. If I'm Jesus is Lord, and I'm not, uh, but if I'm Jesus is Lord, and you don't like Jesus is Lord too, I can have my best friend make another validator and uh, just put it in his name, and I would still run it. So um, this right here, this posturing and grandstanding, in my opinion, and absolutely silly, okay? I don't like him. I don't want to validate with him. I don't think that you should validate with him, but I mean... So what's to stop, and by the way, what's to stop me from, uh, it, if I decided that I wanted to create a validator, I don't, but if I wanted to, what if I named, if I named it all nodes too, is all nodes now out of compliance? Instead of a lot that, there's a lot to unpack, there's a lot that goes into this, um, and the, the need for KYC maybe helps it a little bit, but in the end, the need for KYC doesn't apply to anybody, in fact, so, or, or it doesn't apply to, there's no centralized authority in a decentralized project that oversees this and decides. It's really coming down to the community. So uh, is there a rule that you can't put a two at the end of a name? Um, is there a rule that you can't have friends? Or if, you ha if you're a validator, you can't have friends? Or if you have a friend who's also a validator, aren't you working together? Aren't you colluding? There's a lot of different weird stuff happening here. So again, grandstanding and posturing, in my opinion, I don't like it. I don't like it. I would like to see it stop, but where's, where's the, the real rule that says it can't do it? Not the spirit. Not, not the spirit, because we don't work on spirit here. Uh, we work on laws, rules, regulations, and in a decentralized environment, here we are. Now, what we have to stop in the event that we, we, we would have to stop anything would be <clears throat> a 51% uh, takeover, right? Well, all nodes already there, so let's stop pretending. Uh, if you're going to attack anybody, let's attack all nodes who's doing this shit. So, uh, but let's move on here. So still, uh, we're, we're still talking about tax to gas, right? Well, here we are with tax to gas. We have no information about what's happening other than this. The chain is having some gas issues right now. My understanding is that the Oracle tax split that it was put into place recently consumes a lot of gas. So it's causing gas errors. I think the errors might get resolved with tax to gas, but I don't know for sure. In the meantime, I can make a gas adjustment of three to 3.5. Of course, that means each transaction will charge an excess of gas, but at least the transaction transaction will succeed. So now the question becomes, how are they fixing it? What are they doing? I don't have any details for you. I don't have any. I did reach out to Genuine Labs today to ask them for some clarity and clarification. If I get that, then I will get back to you guys and I will let you know exactly what it is that they say. Uh, but at this point and, and right now, uh, people are just kind of sitting here waiting uh, for, for what's going on. Terra Station Mobile continues to have lunk and USTC pull issues. It's reported there's no problem with the station application. It's announced that these gas issues will be eliminated with the tax to gas update. But here's the thing. It's on testnet right now. hasn't been deployed. So you know when we get that, then we'll know. And by the way, uh, once that's done, there's only 10 validators so uh, that, are, that are testing this thing to begin with. So um, uh, what do we do? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't. I don't know what the answer to that is. 
at this point, but I do know that this is going to help. And remember here, this is supposed to fix a lot of different issues. So uh, hoping to see it implemented uh, kind of right away makes it, you know, makes this, makes the thing better. But let's move on here because we got another one, which is, again, this is, this is performative to me. Paying 562 now wants to tombstone Rex YZ. Now, why does he want to do that? Well, because he runs revalidators, Terra, Terra C Vita, uh, Terra Port, and Terra Casino. Two sponsors of this channel, by the way. This behavior clearly goes against the ethical standards we aim to uphold within our network. Now, somebody really took the time to walk over here and come and drag Peng through the uh, the mud for this because, again, this, in my opinion, just like uh, Jesus is Lord, is performative, okay? Uh, and what does it say here? The entire discourse about decentralization and fairness is mere hypocrisy and political maneuvering aimed at weakening the opposing party. If you truly seek decentralization and fair competition start by removing the limit of 100 validators and the minimum commission so what these guys are trying to do and and what is happening here is that they um that you know we have a limit on the number of validators that's called centralization i mean shouldn't we stop there and just be like this is what we're doing all nodes controls what's 15 percent and they're the ones that run the servers that all of the validators or almost all of these node validators are running through. So by a proxy, why are we not talking about all nodes? Why are we talking about Jesus is Lord? Why are we talking about Rex YZ? I mean, again, I don't like Jesus is Lord, but this is really just kind of an attack on something that a couple of maxis are unhappy about. And it seems a little bit weird. Okay. And the minimum commission, they're not saying anything again. They're not saying anything about all nodes. What are they afraid of? Right. Getting shut off, no longer being a validator. And they don't want to lose their spot in the 100, if you will. T -t Again, a little fishy to me. Um, Bull Boss, of course, jumps in and says, I agree with you on raising the limit of 100, but what is your issue with the minimum commission? I'm fully supportive of decentralization, but how can you definitively prove that these three nodes are run by the same person? What if there's actually three different individuals operating? There are, uh, unless you can prove that those three nodes are run by the same person. They aren't. Um, there's not really anything that can be done. By name, they're, they're run by different people. So because they align, because they're sponsors of the channel, um, uh, and again, because, because the, 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 the underlying sentiment here is we want true decentralization, but we're not talking about all nodes because <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, what really matters is being able to attack other validators. Uh, so then, um, Peng, of course, goes on and on and on and on. Uh, Happy Caddy Crypto made this response here, a man of action indeed. It will be interesting to see how this unfolds. Take Rex YZ, for example. He operates three nodes, one for each division of his project. It clearly goes against the chain's ethical standards. The justification that these nodes are run by community members is flimsy at best. No, it's actually uh, exactly what's happening. It's not flimsy at best, but I get why Happy Caddy Crypto wants everything to be completely decentralized. But if Happy Caddy Crypto wants everything to be completely decentralized, why do we not see a video every morning about how all nodes controls an inordinate amount of supply? We don't see that ever. Why don't we find out, does Happy Caddy Crypto rent from all nodes? Do we know that? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Happy Caddy Crypto. I'm saying that we should be, uh, if we're going to be addressing issues, let's address all the issues, not just a piece of the issues and not just the validators that we don't like or that we have a problem with in some context. Let's, let's address what the actual issue is. So, um, and then Bullboss says, of course, not sure KYC validators would solve this issue. Uh, if a person runs a validator and wants to operate another, they could easily ask a friend or pay someone to KYC for them and manage the second validator. There's, there's really, the, the, the only question here is, can we catch somebody? Can we be the hall monitor? Um, it's really absolutely insanity, right? So, um, <laughs> and, and, and there, there, there's, this guy's going to place a prop, uh, a prop up, uh, for a, 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 okay. I mean, go for it. You know what I mean? Um, let's do it. So uh, let's see what happens. And, uh, you know, um, somebody just ping 562 doesn't like Rex YZ. Uh, I don't care. Uh, matter of fact, again, he's one of the sponsors of this channel. Um, and I don't have a problem with the validators the way they are. Again, I don't like the fact that, that people have multiple validators. But until all nodes is addressed, it doesn't really matter because we're all, it, this is performative outrage. And if you follow me for any length of time, you know what I think about performative outrage. That's what this is, performative. Uh, this is because they want to dilute power and Peng562, does he work for all nodes? Does he work for Jesus is Lord? Is this just an attempt to consolidate power? I mean, here we are. So, um, and by the way, this will come up for votes at some point. You vote your conscience and then validate and stake with the people who do your, 
um, who, who vote in your conscience. By the way, I have not restaked my five million or ten the, the, the additional ten million that I had because I'm not really sure about it yet. I haven't made a decision on what the next play is or what the next step is. So I'm sitting on the sidelines with it right now. Um, as you can see in Coin Hall, you'll see that I still have my ten million sitting over here in this wallet. By the way, look at the boys. The boys is one hundred and seventy five dollars. Remember, it was fifty dollars when I got it. Food was up to eighty. Uh, Juris, I got fifty dollars worth. It went down a little bit. Now all of a sudden, it's starting to pump again. Uh, Terra over here, uh, I've got five hundred in my wallet worth six dollars. But remember, I just staked um, a couple thousand. So if you consider the five thousand ish that I have right now. Uh, plus that, then we're talking about 65, 66 dollars. So it's a pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of these that are doing pretty decent across the board overall. So, um, uh, you know, it's, it's not necessarily coming alive, if you will. Garuda up 10% on the day as well. Uh, so it's not really coming alive, if you will, but we're starting to see some movement into the positive and we're starting to see more of these, these tokens just really kind of pop up out of nowhere each and every day. By the way, uh, Meme Coin Madness does have some stuff going on, uh, which we will visit uh, in just a little bit. And uh, one of my, my, mine is coming up, by the way. So if you want to get in on it, uh, I, I think that's going to be a, a pretty good opportunity for you. So let's keep moving on. Uh, no governance proposals that are currently up right now. Let's talk price action because this is the important parts where the rubber hits the road. So let's talk price action. I'm going to do my best here to uh, give you guys an idea of what's going on. Uh, let's just assume here one of my newest fascinations that I'm looking at, of course, is Fib Retracement. You know I do that every once in a while. And what I did is I made the Fib tool a little bit easier for you to read. I simplified a lot of the process. And you're going to see how this actually uh, plays out. Now, uh, what I'm looking for is a trend reversal. So let's say this, this, this. Did this give me a trend reversal? And I think at this point that that has given me one, but... Um, I don't know yet because, you know, you never know how this breaks down. But if we take a standard Fib tool and we work this uh, all the way up here from the top to the bottom, then you can see right here, what did we get? Let's remove this spot right here. Now we got a clear understanding of what's happening on a Fib tool, right? What it says is, and what I did is I made the, the 0.5 and the 0.618, <clears throat> which is your, uh, you know, that's your, this is where you're going to play because this means that you're uh, positive. This means that there's, there's uh, buy pressure, right? So it came down into this range. It wicked as it came down here, like we saw it break down here, uh, and we saw it start down here, right? And what it do it came right into this golden ratio, if you will. And from there, guys, we're in accumulation phase, and Cryptonomy.finance is the place for you to go in order to stake. You guys have seen what I've staked so far. So what I'm gonna do is I have 10,000 XRP, six months. Again, wondering what the bull phrase is gonna look like. 32% yield off of that. So off of 10,000 XRP, I should have 13,246 XRP when I'm done minus fees. Boom, we're ready for the bull run. We're going 20,000 into the bronze level. All right, we got $20,000 into this pool. We're in the bronze pool right now. You can see the details of what I've done so far, uh, how much I've earned off of it. Uh, my earnings have been just exponential. Why have they been exponential, you might ask yourself? Well, these guys are investing into each one of these launches, and look at some of the results that they're getting. They're they're picking and choosing the best launches. ZK Sync, 4.5x, uh, Ethora 5 three and a half X sharp Psi 3.5 X coin pays 4.7 X the they're looking for real solid projects to invest in and then they're getting this big yield out of it so if you want to sign up at cryptonomy.finance today and remember this bull run is coming don't miss out we'll talk to you again very soon uh, we should expect to see some kind of bounce now if we get a strong bounce here's what's going to get interesting if we get a strong bounce then let's you know kind of zoom out here we're going to have to close again above nine we never closed above nine but if we do then let's zoom out and let's see do we have a volume node sitting at that point four zeros nine six one five that we do not that's actually the start of well you know what let me zoom out just a little bit more and that's the start of a secondary node if you can make that out over here so uh 96 which by the way uh corresponds right here to the 200 ma so we could see a test in that 96 but we're gonna have to close above nine for that to happen also you see another big node up here at three zeros 11 to 10 uh, then you see another node just kind of starting up here i would say this is kind of a double 
little range here, but uh, 12, 196. But look at this. This is your primary motivator. This is your big explosive move, right? So now let's look and see where does that come into play? Well, it comes into play exactly where I told you guys it was going to come into play. Like it, 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 we actually hit the exact area or region or thereabout. This is, you know, like we're, we're splitting hairs when we're talking about this tiny little range right here saying that I didn't get it to the point. But this is the same. When there's a breakout, then this is what the breakout looks like, right? Uh, so I do think that based Based on this fib retracement that most probably uh, we're going to see something big happen. Now, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to leave this up here and we'll talk about this over the next couple of days uh, and we'll see. Let's don't want to do that. Uh, let's lock that into place. All right. So uh, let's see how this plays out over the next little while. Now, what should play out is we should get a move up into this 83 right here at this 0.382. That should be your, your, your next test level. So I would suspect that we're moving to four zeros, 83. Uh, and then if we get a little positive, uh, we're going to double top up here and we're going to do a, uh, another test. We'll bang and then bang, we'll start to, to get back up here at the top right here. And then that's where the breakout comes into play. And guess what? The 200 MA crossing over at the same time. So that's what I think is going to happen. Now, uh, the, the market, will the market allow this to happen is the question. I want to show you something real quick. Uh, we're going to go through the price on LUNK and USTC. And then I'm going to show you some, some real quick data. Um, first of all, volume down, but um, price action up a little bit, up 2%. On the day, that's not a big, you know, we're not ha we're not exploding or anything like that. But um, volume, fifty billion dollars. Uh, USTC, same thing, down to three point five million uh, in, in trade volume, and we're up a little bit in market cap. So that's a positive. But uh, again, there's 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 again fifty billion dollars in volume. Let's look at the volume chart. Here's the volume chart, and you can see right here in the one month, this is what's happening in the market right now. Now we had in volume on August fifth, two hundred forty three billion dollars. And for days, just coming here, days, 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 we were in the 100 billion sort of range. Uh, and then boom, we dropped down, we dropped down to 38 billion, probably over a weekend. Um, and, and then we start we start to range in the 60 or 70 billion come down again, probably a weekend. Uh, then the 26 going to be another weekend right there. Uh, so, you know, that's what we're experiencing. And then here we go. The last one This is another weekend right here down to 32 billion. Uh, and then we get into uh, the last couple of days and then boom, uh, here we are at 50 billion today. Now should increase because the U.S. market has been off the clock, getting back on the clock. We'll see whether there's some primary motivators, but volume is down significantly. If we look at the one year trend right here, then you can see this little spike that we got. This was March. This was when, you know, real trade volume was happening over here. Um, in March. And then we had another big spike over here uh, when we had an impulse move at the beginning of August. But I mean, look at this. this the general trend here has been pretty light uh, overall. Like this is not a, a huge amount. Now, not as bad as it was back here in the 20, 30 billion range. There's a lot more activity, but still you can see that it's just kind of coming back down. Uh, here's the fear and greed index over time. You can see that it, we're still just like, we're, we're really kind of low when it comes down to it. Now this says overall crypto all time. Let's look at this on a one month basis. Then you can see here that their fear and greed index is a little bit higher than some of the other stuff. Uh, it's mid, if you will in this range right here. Now, if you were to look at the overall fear and greed index, you see here that's 47 right now on coin market cap. The Bitcoin fear and greed index is at 26 right now. So this is your buy sentiment. Also, uh, in, in closing out that, remember, this is about volume and the volume right now points to Bitcoin, doesn't point to altcoin. So um, what does this all mean? Well, let's close out a few more things. Uh, lucky sevens here, somebody's pointing out a fit retracement tool. So let's see what the fib retracement tool looks like real quick. All right, popping fib up. You can see here this blue right here represents fib retracement and it's not squeezing. It's not so there's no squeeze here. So I don't think that there's any uh, like we're not ready for an explosive move. When we got a little tightness right here, we broke to the downside a couple days ago. Um, and generally when we tighten up, we squeeze to the downside. That'll reverse when we really get into a bull run. Bitcoin been in a bull run since the beginning of last year. But let's go to the hour and then you're going to see something interesting happen. All right, here we go on the one hour. And I hope that you can see this. If not, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Take this range right here. And you can see that right here, right now, we are starting to squeeze. We're starting to squeeze with all of the indicators starting to move in an uptrend and 
the 200, which again is going to become our test area right here. You can see it starting to calm down because it was coming down super hard, right? Now it's starting to calm down. So that would be an indication or an early indication of a potential reversal. Notice I said potential reversal. Now let's see what the next few hours bring right now. The U.S. market is up. Remember, there were 60 something billion dollars that came into the market yesterday. Uh, I can't imagine a circumstance in which the United States is not trying to suck the profit out of everything so uh, we will see whether or not this moves in a positive fashion but we're looking for negative information we didn't get any negative information so uh, I think that we're in good shape speaking of good shape you would be in better shape if you were using Terra Casino for all of your risk-based gaming needs make sure that you go check it out today uh, you can use Luna Classic Luna Bitcoin Ethereum uh, BNB BUSD Polygonmatic Light Litecoin Link uh, you can use Dogecoin you can use um, USDC, USDT, whatever you need. By the way, you got Luna in your pocket. Go burn it. Go burn it over here on some risk-based gaming. Uh, connect your wallet. Use the uh, mainframe. And then, uh, yeah, go out there and have a little good time. And if you want to trade some meme coins, like a man, like a real man, then uh, come over to Terraport.finance. And look at all the pumps that are happening, by the way. Uh, when you look at this, this is what's trending right now. Look at the USTC to Terra connection is up 21%. Uh, there's a quite a few right now having some really good moves right now. Uh, Terra is up 17% on the day. So uh, at USDC to Terra, 21.8. Lunk, 21.8. Uh, Juris Lunk is 2.9. Uh, USTC Terra, 21.8. So um, a lot going on over here. So if you want to trade, then go for for it. Also, uh, let's not forget in your earnings here. Remember I told you I had 500 in my wallet right now, but I got 5,000 and then I've got 84 that I've gotten as a reward here. So, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to claim it yet. There's no reason to, but um, uh, you can also do the yield farming if you are interested. But remember, uh, Terraport just had a 3.1 upgrade. So let's talk about the next one, which was Rocket. And guess what? Rocket launches to see Rocket launch. Rocket launches today. So if you are interested, uh, then then you should see right here. 20 hours ago said less than 24 hours to rocket launch. The main pair will be Rocket Terra, but taking advantage of the Terraport router, uh, you can swap with any tokens on the decks, warm up your engines. The journey is about to begin. Uh, 3.1 is here. So uh, the the we're, we're waiting for the, it's, it's cool that you can say it, but we're <laughs> waiting right now for the rocket launch. I don't know if they're in my wallet at this point or not. I, you know, we'll find out. I, I, I'll find out after the show, but uh, should be sometime today that you see rocket launch keep saying i keep saying it and it's keep and it keeps getting funnier and funnier in my brain because i'm still a child also we've added liquid staking over here on uh 3.1 so in the event that you are interested then you can uh want to bond uh lunk with bonded lunk and uh it, it's being happen it's already happening right here with an apr of 11 percent at this moment so uh and then there's your unbond request right now so apr uh for farming right now 12.06 so if you are interested then you now have liquid staking available to you for uh what again whatever it is that you're looking uh and then you have mint over here and then you have burn over here so um, go over here, read up on it. There is a white paper. Uh, go check the white paper out and decide for yourself if that is the move and the play for you. Now, before we finish, I lied to you. Uh, I turned this into a much longer thing. I did want to slow down, but as you guys can see, I'm a little bit passionate about some of this stuff. Now, there are a few other pieces that uh, we're not talking about right now, but we should uh, be talking a little bit about it and... Um, over the next month or so, we're going to redress. Uh, we're going to have rocket launch. We got the boys. We're going to talk about the boys. Terra Tritium. Uh, we're going to kick back into that one a little bit more. Uh, we're going to go to Garuda. We're going to go to Elbun. We're going to look at all of these. Air Force Lunk finally has some updates for us. Frag, we're going to be checking out. We've got Food Token. We've got Luna. Ooh, I can't say the name yet because the rebranding hasn't finished yet. Uh, I'm waiting for that one still. Uh, we've got the Galactic Shift uh, uh, trade game. We're going to be checking into Lunk Metrics. We're going to get an idea of the burns and stuff like that uh, and what details there are. Uh, and we've got a few more over here, cremation and... Remember, cremation is one of those big burns 
in this ecosystem. So we're going to talk about that one. And we've got plenty of more projects. So um, over the next little while, we're going to be addressing a lot of different stuff. And you're going to learn that there's a lot of stuff being built in this ecosystem. So if you like this type of content, then it is important that you engage with these guys. Uh, go do your trading over on Terraport.finance. Get yourself some Rocket today. Uh, make sure if you're doing risk-based gaming, go to Terra Casino. Um, and, and by the way, I don't have a problem with any of these other people. Engage with Happy Caddy Crypto. Engage with whomever you want. If you like what Jesus is Lord is doing, validate with them. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that you get what you want. We don't have to agree for us to be best buddies, if you will. Uh, we don't have to agree on everything. What we have to do is work for the betterment of the community. And to be fair, we don't even have to do that. <laughs> we can still be here. We can just not like each other. Uh, that's what freedom is all about. Freedom is not, and by the way, can I just point out that that that, that the, the, the freedom that we're talking about in decentralization is um, turning out to be about controlling who gets to be free and who doesn't, and that's a little bit weird to me. So um, again, I don't like, I, I don't like what's going on with some of this stuff, but I, I mean, it's, it, it's a weird argument, okay? That's, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's a weird argument. It's weird. It's weird. It's odd. It's peculiar. Anyway, you guys have a good day. And uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I do think that we're in for you know quite a good move. But first of all, we're going to have to let the U.S. market be the garbage mongrels that they are uh, and try to eat the liquidity out um, like it's made out of hot dogs in a butthole or you know however the U.S. market. However U.S. investors eat their hot dogs, I'm not one to judge. But uh, I'm pretty sure that they eat it from the you know from the beehole. So uh, that's it. We'll talk to you again soon.